What's going on guys? This is the Red Rogue and I hope you're all doing well today. In this episode, we'll be covering a new feature for patch 9.2, the Creation Catalyst. This is essentially Blizzard's bad luck protection for people wanting to acquire the new tier armor sets, but it also serves an equally handy purpose of converting non-tier pieces into a new piece of gear. Unlocking the Creation Catalyst, like many things in WoW, is time-gated. We should be seeing the Creation Catalyst open the 7th week of the Sepulchre of the First One's Raid, which would be the 8th week of Patch 9.2. This puts the release of the Creation Catalyst at April 12th for NA servers, and April 13th for EU servers. While not immediately listed as a requirement anywhere that I could find or anyone mentioned anywhere, the only test account I have on the PTR had already completed all chapters of the 9.2 campaign including the one that alludes to and references the Creation Catalyst directly, Chapter 4, Forging a New Path. I suggest completing at least this chapter once on your account just in case, because it's very likely you'll have to have done this to have access to the Catalyst system. I can't say for certain, but it seems like a very Blizzard thing of them to do, so just to play it safe. You also need to complete the entire campaign anyhow to access the new double legendary unity belt thing, so you might as well do it. So, once the Creation Catalyst opens, you will see the enlightened Quartermaster Vilo has a quest for you. He's hanging out over by the Innkeeper in Haven. His quest, The Catalyst Awakens, is basically just a breadcrumb quest that lets you know, hey, we know that basically no tier armor drops in the raid or from your great vault because you're really unlucky unless you do like 50 split runs to funnel pieces for exuberant amounts of gold, so here's a way to finally get some. At least, that's how I read the quest text because that's basically how it goes for me. So, you'll head to the southern part of Zareth Mortis, the Catalyst Gardens. By this point in the expansion, if you've done all your achievements for Zareth Mortis, you'll be able to fly here, so you can just fly up on there to this floating building above the water in the gardens. If you can't fly yet though, then there should be a smoky looking portal thing on the pool of water just beneath that floating building I was talking about. Just run into that and it'll send you up to the Creation Catalyst. Now that you're here, how does the Creation Catalyst work? Any gear you've earned during Patch 9.2 from Raiding, Mythic Plus, PvP, or your Great Vault can be transformed into a new piece of gear, and if that piece of gear happens to be a tier slot item, it becomes tier. Tier slots are helmets, shoulders, chest piece, gloves, and legs. This conversion costs Cosmic Flux, which is the new currency you'll earn in all sorts of content in Patch 9.2 such as world quests, opening treasures, PvP wins, Torghast, raiding, and stuff like that. You'll likely have a metric ton of this lying around on your main character without even really trying, but on alt you will need to do some of these dailies and stuff like that more actively to catch up on earning Cosmic Flux. Also, a big warning to casual players who don't PvP, do Mythic Dungeons, or raid. The Creation Catalyst will not be of much use to you, unfortunately. Currently, at least as of this video being made, you cannot convert gear earned from Zareth Mortis. Not sure why they changed that, because on the PTR they said you'd be able to, and maybe they'll change that decision before the Catalyst comes out, but as of now, yeah, if you only do dailies and world quests and stuff, you will not be able to use the Catalyst for anything, really. The Creation Catalyst also has an internal energy system, which is time-based to recharge. Yes, your time-gated system is also time-gated, yo dog. In the first couple weeks, the energy to use the Catalyst is limited to once per week. As the patch goes on though, the Catalyst will recharge faster, reducing the number of days in between each item you convert. The Catalyst is also supposed to stockpile these charges, so if you don't use them right away, you aren't screwed out of not being able to use them later on, which is nice, especially on alts and when you're catching up on new characters. They haven't said exactly how quickly this recharge thing occurs, mind you, but it will speed up over time, according to them. The user interface for the Creation Catalyst is really simple. The Creation Catalyst is literally that little archive looking thing in the middle of the room, so you just right click on it to open the UI. Just click on the box on the left side of the UI and a pop out menu will show all items in your inventory that can be converted. If you happen to be wearing the gear that you want to convert, you'll have to open your character panel and drag and drop the item into that empty field. You'll then see the converted item on the right side of the interface, as well as the amount of Cosmic Flux required to make the conversion. The Cosmic Flux required is based on the armor slot that you're changing, so bracers are noticeably cheaper than a chest piece or a helmet, for example. I'll put up a chart on screen now so you can pause and look it over to know exactly how much you'll be needing in the future. As I mentioned earlier, anything that is a tier armor slot will convert into a tier piece. Wearing multiple pieces of a tier set gives you access to the set bonuses, which are often very large increases in damage, 
healing, and defensive gains based on your role as a DPS, healer, or tank respectively. A couple important things to know about this conversion though. If the base item has a socket or tertiary stats, such as speed, avoidance, or the indestructible trait, then it will carry those over when it's converted into the new item. The secondary stats of the item, being crit, haste, mastery, or versatility, will change to a predetermined stat for that armor slot. So if you have a really high item level chest piece with terrible stats, you can turn it into a really high item level tier chest piece with potentially not terrible stats. The secondary stat rule is the same for your other slots that are not tier pieces, such as cloaks, bracers, belts, and boots. The creation catalyst cannot be used on accessory items. This means you can't convert weapons, necklaces, rings, or trinkets. Another important piece of information is the conversion of Mythic Plus and PvP gear. When you convert an item from either of those sources using the catalyst, it will stay at the exact same item level and upgrade rank that it was originally. This allows you to use Honor to continue upgrading your newly converted PvP piece, or Valor for gear earned from Mythic Dungeons. Raiding gear that is converted using the Catalyst, however, cannot be upgraded. I would personally suggest holding on to any tier slot armor pieces you earn in the coming weeks, just in case you have as bad of luck as me and don't get any tier pieces from the Vault, or if you're raiding in Sepulchre of the First Ones. Tier is generally speaking a big gain in performance for your character, and the Catalyst will let you convert them into set pieces. Or, you know, if you just want the really cool transmog of the new stuff, then convert whatever you want, since some of it is pretty nice looking. Anyways folks, I hope this little explanation and guide on the Creation Catalyst proves useful to you in the coming weeks of Patch 9.2 Eternity's End. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in a comment below, and if the video was helpful to you, maybe consider leaving a thank you or a like. As always, my appreciation and gratitude to all of my viewers, and especially my patrons, who all help make these Sheba shenanigans possible. Thank you all so much for watching. This is the Red Rogue, and I'll see you guys around.